that beautiful riverine vegetation. And I've got a problem that side. I've got an internet problem that side. But they are still streaming, trying to. looking good. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, believe it or not, I think that was an issue from the Juma side, not from the Kenyan side. So that's good. It's good to know that the new technology here put out by the inimitable Mr. Peter Brass is working very nicely indeed. Uh, Graham, of course, is on camera, the CEO, uh, multi-talented, and he is now filming as we speak. Hello, Graham. There's Graham's thumb. Valerie, you're wondering about the Marsh Pride and if we've come across it yet. We haven't, Valerie. The Marsh Pride was uh, made famous, of course, by the um, Big Cat Diary. And it, the, I think the marsh after which they're named is actually that sort of patch of land just the other side of the river there. But ostensibly that show was filmed on the, what I suppose would be called the western, eastern side of the river. We're operating on the west here, but that marsh the other side there is where they are. Uh, we've seen some lions. We don't know who they were yet. We're going out with the warden this evening, though, and he is hopefully going to introduce us to more of the lion prides of the area, and so we can figure out where the best spot to look at them is. So, no, we haven't come across the marsh pride as far as we're aware, Valerie. It's possible that the lions we saw were part of the marsh pride, uh, but they were quite a long way north of where we are now. Hello Judy H, you, very good question, you say do we need special permission to be on foot? You do, but we're in a uh, sort of public stopping area, so there's a, a public convenience if you like, if you happen to need what is termed a comfort break in the tourism industry, uh, you can go down there and you can have a walk through there, so you're allowed to get out of the car here. There are very few places here that you are actually allowed to get out of the car, and this is just one of them, and it happened to be in front of this amazing drinking spot. This is a, obviously not a traditional crossing point because the animals are not crossing. They're just coming down in waves to drink and then disappearing again. And this, just before we kind of wrap this up, let's just have one more look over here, if you don't mind, Grant. Just try and conceive of the amount of life, of mammal life, that you're looking at here. There are thousands of zebra. There are tens of thousands of wildebeest. There are topian amongst them, Thompson's gazelles, and the attendant predators are lurking somewhere in those clearings. And we're hoping, of course, at some stage, perhaps today, to see a cheetah as well. This is ideal cheetah country, and I suppose the Thompson's gazelle, a medium-sized gazelle, probably weighs just under the weight of an impala, about 50 or 60 kilograms or so. I suppose that would be the ultimate thing. Or something like a cheetah to catch here and you might even be able to see a bit of the heat haze in the background there all right everyone i think we're going to wrap it up from here just a brief visit from us <laughs> hello katie you say you love to see your friends james and graham well katie i'm very glad to be uh, considered part of your friendship circle that's wonderful as is graham he's nodding his head vigorously and um <laughs> It's good to hear from you. We're going to wrap it up now. We've got a couple, bit more testing to do, a bit more exploring to do during the day. So join us. We will hopefully be around for the uh, sunset, sunset Safari there in South Africa. We'll be doing some stuff there. We don't know what we're going to see. We had an unbelievable day yesterday. It's unlikely we're going to top that, but who knows? We might. So until then, 